So it's nine o'clock. According to the ticket I bought, uh, we're going to be in Hanoi in three hours. But according to Google Maps, we're still about 11 hours away. Lloyd and Mandy, we've been traveling full time for the past seven months searching for the perfect place to live as digital nomads. We've been in Vietnam for the past two weeks and after spending some time exploring the old city of Hoi An, we've just got one night in Da Nang before jumping on a sleeper bus to Hanoi. If you're new here, we post helpful and entertaining travel content every other day. So if that sounds like something you're into, please consider subscribing to our channel. So we've made it to Da Nang. Oh my goodness, this city is so beautiful. Unfortunately, we only have one night here, but we're we're just about to go check out some night markets for some food. What's the name of the market we're going to? Helio Night Market. It looks like the biggest one. Most options. Still a bit tired and hungover from our last night in Hoi An. So, just gonna eat. Maybe have one beer to make me feel better. <laughs> Literally every city we've been to so far in Vietnam, like when you get here, during the day it just looks like whatever and then it, like we just looked out our, wind, our hotel window and it's just completely lit up. Every city lights up at night. at the Helio Night Market. Hopefully you can hear us over the music. Taxi driver was playing classical music which nearly put us to sleep so might need to have a beer to wake us back up. Taxi drivers here are crazy actually. They drive really, I guess, erratic and are on the horn the whole time. They always seem to be in a really big rush. Have you noticed that? Anyway, uh, we're going to go head in and see what food we can get. Also have to find an ATM because we don't have much money on us at all. When we checked out of the hotel in Hoi An, they only took cash, which was weird, but so I had to give them all my cash. So hopefully we can find an ATM here because I've got barely enough to uh, get us home and get something to eat. It's definitely not as big of a market. 
market is what I thought it was going to be, but there's a lot of different options, some weird food as well, like the blue egg, which I'm not eating again, there's full squids, uh, lots of seafood, the main area is like a bar area where there's live music playing, so it's more of a night family slash drinking spot I think. That was delicious, but I'm going to need way more to fill up my stomach tonight. I'm really hungry, eh? I'm going to go find an ATM. Mandy's going to get a nice tea, and we're going to meet back up. So I feel a little bit out of place here, especially by myself. But I went and got one of these iced teas, and at first I just ordered one, and I was just, because it's huge, I was going to get just Lloyd and I to share it, and then I tasted it, and I was like, okay, now I need a whole one to myself, so I ordered another one. Um, Lloyd still hasn't come back, though, and I'm getting stared at a lot here, especially right now vlogging. I'm not in being in, but... When I'm hungover, I just crave chicken, fried chicken especially. <laughs> and it's pretty weird food here, which I was gonna come here and try. But we have a 10 hour bus ride to Hanoi tomorrow, I just remembered. And I haven't had a very good track record with travel days and having a sick stomach, so. Um, I'm just gonna stick to the chicken. This will probably be it. It looks really nice, the breading on it looks so good. It's awesome. I don't know what this is. It's for you. Yeah, yeah I want to try. Yeah, it's a mozzarella stick. Is it? Yeah. It's Manny's favorite. <laughs> Good morning from beautiful Da Nang. Oh my goodness, it's such a nice day today. Feeling a hundred times better than yesterday. <laughs> Finally not hungover, bloody alcohol. Uh, we're just out on the river, just going for a walk. Gonna go check out the bridge that we saw last night. There's actually like a dragon. Like it, it's a dragon, the whole bridge is a dragon. It's really cool looking. And then we're going to be heading to a place called Breakfast Street. You think that's what it's called? Probably not. <laughs> I don't think it's actually called Breakfast Street. <laughs> uh, there's another name for it, which I can't remember, but yeah, it's referred to as like the Breakfast Street because it's a bunch of street food stalls that open up really early and everyone goes there for breakfast. So we're gonna do that. We've only got a few hours before our bus, so we'll check out as much as we can before we go. So Mandy's a little bit upset today. We, oh, you can tell. Uh, I got a reminder on my phone of basically like iPhones, I don't know if everyone gets this, but like it put together like a slideshow of all the pictures and videos of our dog Bear. And we talked about him like er, very early on in our vlogs, um, but I do get quite sad every time <laughs> I bring him up. Um, so just gave me like the reminder uh, that I haven't seen him in seven months and it's really hard being away from him. The hardest thing is, when you're away from a friend or a family member, you can just jump on the phone and talk to them. Which, it sounds weird, but I never thought about it, that like, you know, you miss your dog, you can't like just jump on the phone and speak to him or <laughs> communicate with him or anything. He has no idea what's going on. Yeah, and we know he's being very well looked after by Lloyd's sister at the moment, so that makes it easier. We know he's happy and like, in a very happy home, but like the reason we're working so hard right now is so we can afford to bring him on our travels with us actually. Yeah. Uh, and we're actually in the process of figuring out how to get him over to like North America. So he's, so we can bring him on our travels like through Mexico, USA and Canada. So that's something that's sort of in the works right now. If you have any suggestions on traveling with pets, um, taking pets on planes, that sort of things. We'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, and also coping mechanisms for <laughs> how to deal with dogs. I know I like, show so many dogs in our videos and that's made it a little bit easier, I guess, being around heaps of dogs, but I really miss my, my dog, my bear. Yeah, we, we've talked about our goal of like 
100,000 subscribers by November 11th, which is a year since we started the channel. Uh, but the other goal, which is really the main goal, is by that time as well, we want to be able to bring Bear over to North America, that part of the world, so he can start traveling with us. Yeah, and become part of the channel. <laughs> it's, it's very easy to travel with pets in North America. So we'll keep you updated on the Bear saga. We just wanted to share that uh, we've had quite a few people ask what we've done with, with our dog while we've been away. And I feel like that's also a really common reason a lot of people don't travel and I completely understand it. And I, th I thought I'd do better than I'm doing. <laughs> um, but every day it's getting harder. So completely sympathize to anyone who feels they can't leave their pets. Uh, but also on the flip side, life is too short to not do all the things that you want to do. I wouldn't have left Bear if I didn't know he was, wasn't in such good hands. The sculpture is beautiful, but somebody, oh my god, creepy, someone drew a face on her. Oh, it won't stop. That's so bad. Oh, and that's a beautiful sculpture too. are booked to Hanoi is it's actually only a 10 hour bus ride there was other options that were 14 hours which I guess must stop a lot more it still said VIP but I think it's a 41 seater VIP which I don't think it's gonna be like anything like the um, capsule bus that we got but we're not sleeping on it it leaves at 2 and gets in at midnight so hopefully we can get some service so we can just do some work and also it's game six of the NBA finals which I'm looking forward to watching on the bus as long as there's service. Alright so we just got dropped off by the taxi to where it says the bus pickup point is but the problem is there's no bus station or office or anything it's just restaurants. We actually met another traveler who had her bags with her and asked her if she was catching a bus as well and she said yes and this is where I told her to come. So we were just at this bar, uh, restaurant sort of thing, having a beer. Luckily we gave ourselves a lot of time and hopefully a bus is gonna come and pick us up. If not, I don't know. Pretty much everywhere else we've been from, there's been a big bus station and um, I thought there would be one here because Da Nang is a pretty big city. So yeah, that's a bit strange. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> So we booked this bus through 1-2 Go Asia or 12 Go Asia, whatever it's called, from Da Nang to Hanoi. It's supposed to depart at 2 p.m. and get into Hanoi at midnight. I didn't realize that that's not even possible. We've been driving now for three hours and we've only made it to Hue and I just looked up on maps. It's like another 14 hours to Hanoi. So for whatever reason, they've sold it as a 10 hour bus trip, which is probably gonna be like a 16 hour bus trip. 
So we're on an overnight sleeper now, probably get into Hanoi about 6 a.m. and this is not a VIP bus, this is just a regular sleeper bus. Um, whatever, it is what it is. I had no idea that it was so far because I was just looking at the bus itinerary. I didn't look at Google Maps to see how long it takes to drive there. Uh, if I had a known, I probably would have booked um, a better bus. So I agreed to this not so nice sleeper bus um, because I thought it was only going to be 10 hours. We were meant to be leaving at 2 p.m. and arriving at midnight and we just found out it's going to be 17 hours. I just don't understand why they sold it as a 10 hour bus trip and that's like physically impossible. Life's good. <laughs> Ladies, don't come to Vietnam if you don't want to use a toilet like this. <laughs> bus trip ever. I actually didn't sleep that bad. Surprisingly, I feel quite fresh at the moment. Hanoi looks absolutely beautiful. Will not do another 17 hour bus ride. But that was quite humbling actually. I realized halfway through that there was a time in my life that I would have looked like just all I would have wanted was to lay down during a bus ride and I actually got to lay down and I got to sleep. So that was a blessing and humbling. Um, and we made it, and now we get to explore Hanoi, and it looks awesome. Yeah, I uh, I slept as well, but not great. I might need a nap. <laughs> uh, it was more just not knowing that we we're in for an overnight bus ride. Uh, if I had it prepared for that, it might have been easier. But. Yeah. But at least we're going to make the, the buffet breakfast at the hotel. Uh, we're just trying to get a taxi now, and we're going to head to the hotel. All right, we just uh, woke up from a nap, feeling pretty good now. Uh, I don't know how some people can just go with not much sleep and then just go and explore new places. We need to get our rest and feel good. So it's about one o'clock now, I'm pretty hungry. We're gonna go check out 
Hanoi, finally. We got through the bus trip, um, even though it wasn't ideal. It's all good, we're here now. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. That lets us know you enjoyed it. And also remember to subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by November 11th. Uh, our next video is gonna be exploring Hanoi, so make sure you tune into that and we'll see you on the next one.